Hi dolls! What's up and welcome back to another girly vlog. This is going to be a weekend vlog so I'm going to be filming today which is Friday, Saturday and Sunday and I did not just wake up but I have been in my PJs all day because I have just been doing some office type work, editing and things like that so I've just been like this the whole day. But I wanted to pick up the camera and say hi and at least open the vlog and maybe should I turn you guys around? Let me turn you guys around so you can see. Okay, yeah, so I just wanted to say hi, open the vlog and yeah, start vlogging today. Um, I am just doing this new thing now where whenever I have time to vlog and I feel like vlogging, I just pick up the camera and vlog. Last week's vlog was a little rough as you guys could see, it was like a long A vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed how long it was, I know it was like feature film long but um it was a combination of a multitudes of days and i really just wanted to give you guys the real real and not cut too much of what i was doing out of it so today um i want to get out of the house i've been working on set for the past two days wednesday and thursday so i want to kind of go out i'm thinking i want to go to walmart see what kind of halloween decor they have i might actually look online because i need to place my uh, grocery order because your girl has nothing in the house when i mean nothing I'm talking about I am out of bottled water like I have nothing in the house so maybe I'll look online um, also though there's a TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Michaels and Target all in the same vicinity of Walmart so I'm also kind of thinking well maybe I should just go over there um, because I do want to check out Marshalls and TJ Maxx for some Christmas stuff I have been on home goods trying to stay like up to date on when they get their gingerbread houses in i have been seeing so many cute gingerbread houses from all of my little pink dolls on instagram and i cannot find them anywhere you guys i know that my home goods gets things in late because last year it was the same thing and today i called and i was like hey do you guys have any gingerbread stuff out and they were like no we only just unpacked a bunch of boxes of santa so there's going to be a lot of santa out i don't need any more santas i think i have like two or three santas at this point and i think i'm good with that right now i want to show you dolls something really quick i just got some packages in the mail um and they're so cute um the first thing is these nails let me let me show you guys Oh, let me show you guys around. That might work. <laughs> okay, there we go, yay! Okay, so here are my new Halloween nails. Sorry, the camera doesn't want to focus. Like, it literally doesn't. There we go. So here are my new Halloween nails. They're super cute. They have like a scream type of theme to them. There's like a phone that says, hang up, no you hang up, no you hang up. There's like a dagger with pink blood. Um, it's just so cute, these little flames. I'm obsessed with these nails. I did have on some other Halloween nails from Burlington that you guys saw. I think you may have seen those in the last video or on my Instagram. I took those off. I wore them like a day and I was over them. Um, but these are so cute. I'm so obsessed with them. I just put them on today. So I wanted to show you guys that. And then also here are some other packages that recently came in the mail. Um, these nails are all from Amazon. I will link them in my beauty uh, folder on my storefront. So I have these nails. They're like pink with like dark pink hearts and gems all over them. I'm sorry if you guys like if it's not like focusing. Okay, yeah. They're like light pink with like gems and they have like little hearts with gold around it. Kind of reminds me of like Sailor Moon um, nails. But yeah, I love these. They're so cute. I can't wait to try those. And then also I have another set of these pink bling nails with hearts. You guys have seen these before. I had these, I think, earlier this year. I just got another set of them because I love them. And then I also picked up these short nails because just the design, like the squiggly design is so freaking cute. And I also love the pink and the like neon yellow with it. And it's a short cut and I love wearing shorter nails in the fall time. So got all of those. And then these things came in. I got these from AliExpress. They're just like these really cute Victorian earrings. Let me see if I can focus for you guys. Yeah, it's just a pair of like cute Victoria pink earrings with like pearls at the top. I'm kind of into like the Victorian era ethereal mixed with like modern streetwear. I don't know, I've really been into that. So I got these, I think they're really pretty. I can't wait to style them. 
And then I got this from iMethod Beauty. They just sent me in some products to try. This is the Perfect Wing Eyeliner Stamp. It's supposed to just be like a stamp. You stamp it on your eye and you get the perfect wing. They did send it over to me in pink. I will be trying these items out too with, throughout the vlog. Um, but yeah, got that. And then they also sent me the Brow Elimination Kit. I am so excited to see if this works or not because I have been seeing this all over Instagram and I'm like, girl, if that works, I will be in heaven so we're gonna try this out and I'll let you guys see and know what I think about it um, and then also you guys I got a pink wig I know I know I know I know I know so yeah I'm sorry I felt so awkward like not looking at you guys while I was talking to you so I got this pink wig off of Amazon again it will be linked in my beauty folder um, on my storefront, but I've been wanting to change my hair for like the longest time. I've actually really wanted to have my hair pink, but I just don't have the courage to do it. Plus I do acting and um, I can't really have my hair pink because it doesn't match my headshots. But I thought the perfect way to try it out and see if I like it was to get a wig. So I got this wig, it was only like $24 on Amazon and it's supposed to be a black wig with a pink ombre tips and it's a curly wig. When I saw it online, it looks just like my hair, like how my natural hair is, maybe a little bit shorter, but pretty much how my natural hair is, but it has bangs and I've been wanting to get bangs. So I thought this would be perfect to try out and see if I like my hair pink and with the bangs natural. Um, I also saw a few other pink wigs, which I am going to pick up because I want to try it out and just see if I like it before I do anything more permanent to my hair. By more permanent, I mean like put in hair extensions, color it, cut it, that type of thing. So yeah, I'm going to try out this wig and we're going to see what we think about it. And then, oh, I forgot to show you guys this. I got a pair of cleaning gloves because I needed a new pair. And I found these pink ones and so I ordered them. They do look like they're a little bit sheer and they're not the best of quality, but I guess we'll see how they hold up once I start my cleaning and using them. I will be doing a fall clean with me video as well soon, hopefully. And I also picked up another household item. This is an egg carton, as you guys can see. It's so freaking cute. It's like a matte pink egg carton that's reusable and I'm obsessed with it. I did do the whole aesthetic fridge and I do have like a clear egg holder in my fridge at the moment, but I was just thinking, I'm like, girl, when you move and get your own house, like you're gonna wanna have everything pink and not like these clear containers. So I did go ahead and get this. I've been trying recently to invest into things I feel like I can take with me and use for a longer period of time instead of something that's just good for the moment. Like I feel like a lot of things in my apartment now are like kind of good for the moment but like if I move into a house I'd probably get rid of all that stuff you know so I'm like let's not invest into that anymore let's really invest into what we want for the future so I want my kitchen and my um fridge to be all pink of course so I got this and I just thought it was cute and I couldn't resist it okay guys I don't know what else to say but yeah, that's pretty much everything I think I had to show you guys. Um, I'm going to go and film some TikToks because I have a vlog. You guys, I am back. I will be back vlogging on TikTok again. I know I keep saying I'm going to get back on TikTok and then I just don't. But I am vlogging today for TikTok. I think we're going to vlog the shopping portion of this and put it on TikTok and Instagram. And then I also have uh, to film a perfume updated perfume collection video for you guys oh the other thing i forgot to show you guys these shoes how could i forget you guys i finally got these bubble sandals or i don't know are these sandals or house shoes i don't know i see people wearing them out on the street so i'm guessing they're just shoes they're not like house shoes i have been trying to figure out if i wanted to get these or not because i just felt like they looked weird but also very cool and I don't know, I just decided to go ahead and grab them. I did get them in this light pink color, which is perfect for me, I feel. And I can't wait to wear these out. They actually are comfortable. I feel like I'm walking on clouds. I feel like this is probably what the Yeezy slides feel like. Um, maybe they don't, I don't know. You guys can comment below if you actually try the Yeezy slides. But um, aren't they made of like the same material as this? I don't know, it might not be styled like this, but I think it's like plasticky, spongy type of material. 
anyways i got these off of aliexpress you guys and these you can find anyway you can find them on shein you can find them on amazon all the stores are like carrying these now so yeah i think they're super cute i'm kind of kind of obsessed with them hi dolls i just wanted to share with you guys my little ootd i'm wearing these pink jessica simpson heels these white abercrombie jeans and this pink sweater that i oh where did i get this from oh, i can't remember but it was like two or three christmases ago i think it was like was it doll's kill i don't think it, i can't remember where but i got this pink fuzzy sweater um i am wearing this like white fuzzy beret hat and i have these cute little earrings that i showed you guys earlier in my ears can you guys see those i hope so here are the earrings you guys in my ears yeah, I showed you guys these earlier. Sorry about the lighting. It's, of course, super, super bright in here. But I'm just about to film a video for you guys. So I'm going to go do that right now. And then I will talk to you as soon as I have something to talk to you about. Girl, I am burning up. I am not even about to lie to y'all. It is hot outside. It's like 80 plus degrees. And I'm in a sweater with jeans and a beret. Girl, I have the AC on, though. So I'll see you guys soon. It's a little bit later, but I just went to Dunkin' and grabbed a drink. I got a small matcha latte with oat milk, caramel drizzle, which kind of fell off the sides. You can't really see it anymore. It mixed in. And then pumpkin cold foam. I am so excited to see how this is going to taste. Let's go ahead and have a taste, and then I'll let you guys know. Mm-hmm. This is very good, you guys. I actually really, really like this. Um, again, I do feel like this is pumpkin whipped cream and not cold foam, but nonetheless, it does taste really good. I bet that this will be really nice with like, as like a frozen drink, like an ice frozen drink, you know, like whipped instead of just the regular ice. That would be really, really nice, but it's really good, you guys. Not too sweet. It has like a buttery note to it. I love this. Hey guys, so today is a Saturday and um, I'm vlogging, but um, I have like the worst cramps of my life right now and I cannot take my medication because my groceries aren't here and like I told you guys yesterday, I have nothing in the house, like no groceries, no, no water, no nothing, so I don't have anything to take my pills with and I also need to eat before when I take the pills so I'm waiting for my groceries to show up and they mm, they're supposed to show up in between 12 and 1 it's 1203 right now and I don't like leaving my house before my groceries show up because it's been times where like the delivery driver would leave them like downstairs in the courtyard instead of bringing them to my door and then the manager will say something so i just try to stay home when they have a delivery but otherwise i would have walked to duncan or somewhere and just got a drink really quick and taken the medication but i'm just like oh sorry just tough it out because why go spend money at duncan when you have groceries coming like girl also, I might look a little weird. It's because I have my concealer on. I was in the midway of doing my makeup. You guys, I woke up early because I have auditions to film today. They're due on Monday, but I'm doing this new thing where I'm trying to just get a head start on things. Like if I know I have something to do instead of being like, oh, that's going to take me like 15, 10 minutes. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it Monday. I'm trying to just do it when it comes up and getting it out of the way because what happens is I'll just keep pushing things off because I'm a procrastinator and all of those 10 15 minute little tasks I have to do become a whole two days worth of work that is now rushed to get done oh yeah y'all I look crazy I look like Rafiki it's just because I have concealer around my mouth area because I had like some dry patches of skin and then yeah it's just the concealer so i was putting concealer on and those cramps girl oh. i said to my body i'm not gonna let this stop me i'm not gonna let this stop me and my body said 
you are not going to keep going. You are going to sit down and wait for your groceries. And when your groceries come, you can take your medication and feel better. And then you can get up and go about your day. But you are not about to go any further. I'm not about to go any further. That's what my body said. So I'm listening to my body and I just decided midway during my makeup, I'm going to sit down. I have the dryer running, so I'm sorry if you guys hear that annoyingness in the background. But I do have the dryer running because I wanted the audition I have to do today is a commercial audition, and I wanted to. <laughs> this is a hack, but I use sheets as my backdrop. I have a gray sheet that I use for like drama scenes, and then I have this bright blue sheet that I use for a commercial. So I'm drying it just to get the wrinkles out because I didn't want to take the steamer to it and spend time steaming it no so she's in the dryer um uh the other thing i want to do today is put my coffee bar together um and it doesn't necessarily have to get done today it's just going to get done over this weekend so you guys will get to see that in this vlog and yeah that's pretty much what i want to do i also wanted to go shopping i did go yesterday and by the time you guys are seeing this vlog you would have saw it on my instagram reels or my tiktok i haven't posted it yet i actually need to edit that right now while i'm sitting here but i'm just in such a rut i don't know that i have the energy to do it but yeah i'm gonna edit that and post that it'll be up on tiktok or my reels or both so yeah, that's pretty much it. I know I keep plugging my social medias. You guys are probably like, I'm so tired of her talking about following Instagram, following me on TikTok, blah, 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 blah. But the thing of it is, you guys, I can't show you everything all the time. And like when it comes to vlogging, especially, like I don't take my camera out of the house. So it's hard for me to vlog what I'm doing outside of the house, except for on my phone and i don't have a lot of camera space on my phone so i can't like vlog like how i i'm holding the camera and i'm like vlogging just chit chatting i can't do that but i can get like short clips which is what i do anyway for tiktok and instagram when i vlog over there because i do do vlogging on my tiktok i just get like short clips and stick them together and it's like a little mini vlog and so instead of like trying to figure out a way to sneak my camera into stores and restaurants and stuff it's just so much easier since i have my phone to film like a mini vlog and have you guys go watch that so like you don't miss out on content like the parts like when i say i'm gonna go to the store and i'm gonna go shopping but then you guys are like well we didn't see you go shopping and then i come home and i'm like okay this is what i got and you guys are like well where's the part where you went shopping we want to see that you can see that stuff on Instagram and TikTok. That's what I'm saying. So uh, that's just the best way, I think. I look crazy. I need to get off this camera. I look like I have like a milk mustache or something because of the concealer. I also have my liners in. And that's making my, <clears throat> my mouth look funny and me talk funny. But it's okay, girl. It's real life, right? <laughs> It's real life. Um, so yeah, I let me see what else I have. I have like my planner here. I am writing out content and planning content for this month because I only have next week planned out. I don't have the entire month planned out and I'd love to have like at least a light like overview of what I want to accomplish and do for the month. So I'm going to do that while I'm sitting here. I'll give you guys a grocery haul too. It's pretty much the same stuff. You guys, I get the same stuff all the time from the grocery store. Every now and then I'll switch it up, but it's typically the same things. I just kind of stick with my regular stuff. And it's kind of like a stock up anyway. So it's just like stuff that I keep in my fridge or in my cabinets all the time that I'm just out of because I've been on set so much. Oh, I have a video to film for you guys too today, but I have to film that at night because that video is a night video. Oh, and last night I literally stayed up to like 4 a.m. in the morning. One, because I had pretty bad cramps and I couldn't really get comfortable. And then the other reason is because I was editing a video. It's my 
Christmas or my early Pinkmas haul. And by now that you guys are seeing this video, you probably already saw it. If you haven't, I'll be sure to link it below. But yeah, definitely be sure to check out that video. I showed you guys a lot of the early Christmas stuff that I saw coming into the stores and that I picked up. So you guys are definitely gonna wanna check out that video if you're trying to start your Christmas shopping early. Um, so I set up doing that. I got the first rough cut done. I still have to do another cut. Um, but I feel pretty good about it and I'm happy honestly that I stayed up last night instead of watching TV I actually stayed up and worked on editing because now today I feel so much better about that video being done on time I just feel like I have a lot of time and it's no rush and I usually feel rushed like oh my god I have to edit that especially when it comes to editing because I hate doing it so I'll push it off a lot and then it'll pile up and yeah just like never get done <laughs> so I have that and then I need to respond to you guys' comments because I'm here girl I've just been creating and spending all this time filming and editing that I haven't actually stopped to like you know say hi to my friends like what the heck so I definitely have to get down there in the comments and reply to you guys and I need to check emails I'm just looking at my um, to do list and I also need to return phone calls from last week that I did not return and text messages from people because that'll happen like I'll be so distracted like I'll get a phone call a DM a text and I just won't even respond until I have the time to like have a conversation so I'm gonna do that today but that's pretty much it I think I just want to get a head start on next week because I can already see that that week is filling up quite a bit and what I don't want to do is get into that week and it's just so much and I'm overwhelmed which is why I'm doing my self tape today I wish I could do my other audition early as well because I have another audition on Wednesday but that one is a live zoom audition so I actually I have to just meet on Wednesday. Oh, it's actually not Wednesday. I had to keep quit saying that. I thought it was Wednesday. It's Tuesday. So, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that one. That one I just have to do on Tuesday. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I figured since I was sitting here doing absolutely nothing, waiting for my groceries, that I might as well pick up the camera. Oh, I just got a text. I wonder if... It's by groceries. I wonder. Um, if it's somebody asking me to come out, I'm not coming out of this house. Oh. Oh, it is my groceries. It says my groceries are here, you guys. Let's go see. That's weird because normally they'll ring the doorbell, but they, he didn't ring it. So I wonder if he left it up here or if he left it down. If he left it downstairs, I'm gonna be irritated. groceries are not up here this is what I'm talking about like it's so freaking annoying it says that he the delivery driver is here and he maybe he's downstairs bringing them up because I definitely left the gate code for him to get in yeah it says he's here and he will leave the order at the door so I'm just gonna wait you guys for him to get up here and ring the doorbell and then I'll show you guys my groceries Groceries are here. Ooh, I look at it. horrible. Oh my gosh. Groceries are here, so I'm just gonna bring those in. Oh my gosh. You know what I realized, you guys? Let me set you on something. Groceries are like, okay, you guys still can't see me. <laughs> Not tall enough. Let's see. Still a little short. Okay, groceries are like super expensive. Like, I don't understand how three bags of groceries equate to $100. Like, I really don't. 
but I'm gonna show you guys really quick what I got. I got this wheat bread. I love this brand of bread, it's so good. It's probably not the healthiest, but I got some bread. We are out. I got these apples, gala apples. My favorite apples, a fun fact, is honey crisp apples. But for some reason, the honey crisp apples were super expensive. They were like $8 for a bag of honey crisp apples. And these were like, I think, $6. So I'm just going to try these out and see if I like these. I've had gala apples before. They're okay. They're just not honey crisp. I got some tomatoes for cooking, an onion for cooking. Like, how is this a hundred dollars? Like, I really don't understand. Um, I got some smoked turkey sausage. I love making like little rice bowls with this and also using it as like breakfast sausage and stuff. And also it's good for like sandwiches or if you like like hot dogs or stuff like that, it's good for that too. Then I got my favorite salad kit. This is an Asian salad kit. I love this. I eat this with everything. It's just my favorite salad kit from there. I like throwing stuff on the floor, but I'm going to pick it up, guys. Don't worry. I feel like I'm missing stuff. Maybe not. I got some sun chips. And this is the whole grain harvest cheddar. And then I got this big thing of cranberry juice because especially when I'm on my period cranberry juice just helps me so much down there and I love it so I got a big one of it and I also got a pack of water because we're out of water I told you guys and then I also got pinky needed more food so I had to re-up on that so I got a big giant normals bag of food for her and honestly I love getting that bag of food because it literally lasts us like six months not six months like four months of food for her so yeah that's it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put the groceries away and then I'll talk to you guys a little bit like when I feel better and I like look better and I'm just so tired of coming on here looking like crap I'll do better y'all hey dolls okay so it is some hours later you guys saw I got my groceries and I was able to take my medication so now I feel a lot better I'm gonna go out and then I'm gonna come back and cook it and make something to eat but I'm just gonna run to Ross really quick because I want to see if they have those pink um, cookie ornaments that I showed you guys I think you saw that video by now yeah because it's going up tomorrow and this video is going up Monday so yeah is this video going up? Yeah, it's going up Monday. So, yeah, I'm going to go look and see if they have that. I'm just going to set you guys right up here on my dresser. Yeah, so I'm going to go check and see if they have those ornaments. I'm just going to look around and see what other things they have for Christmas decor out. I did want to go to a Marshalls and TJ Maxx, but I think I'm going to save that for tomorrow because um, I want to check Ross first. I feel like Ross sometimes can have some gems that are cheaper than Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And so I'm going to check there first right now. Then we're going to come back and I'm going to make something to eat. But yeah, I'm so sorry about that period rant earlier um I, when i'm on my period girl i am not a happy camper um so yeah but i'm in a lot better spirits now also you guys i don't know if you've seen this yet but i will show it to you i did do my halloween tree it's not finished it's not finished but it kind of is done i just have to get some more spiders because that and uh bats because i have to cover up this side and this other side but the front of it looks good <laughs> the front of it looks good girl and yeah i might get some other ornaments if i see something cooler but i just really love the the simplicity of this like just the bats and the spiders so I'm gonna look and see if I can find some more of that and then I'm gonna come home oh I did do my audition um I just finished it and because it took a while for my medication to kick in so I was like really feeling bad I was in the bathroom I get really nauseous and like TMI but I have like pretty much the stomach flu and like bubble guts when I'm on my period like I have to throw up I have like diarrhea it's just really bad girl um it's TMI but 
Anyway, sis, I did finish my um, audition tape and I felt good about it. Like I thought I was gonna be like, kind of like, ugh, I don't really feel well and I don't wanna do it. But once I started doing it, it was fun and I had a lot of fun and uh, I loved it. I thought it came out really good. I'm gonna edit that and send that in today and then I'm gonna probably at some point tonight look over my script for my audition on Tuesday just so I can get that in my head. I also need to re reach out to um, the producer and casting and just find out I have some questions about the script, so I'm gonna ask <laughs> before I show up to that casting not understanding and then they're giving me like feedback as I'm doing my audition. I'd rather get that feedback now. <laughs> yes, please. Um, yeah, I do also wanna try out the wig that I showed you guys, this pink curly wig. Maybe we'll do that when I get back, maybe tomorrow. Um, I wanna kind of set aside tomorrow to set up my coffee bar and also I wanna set aside some time to go look for my Halloween costume because I have not found my Halloween costume. I wanna be a sweet witch. Um, but I just haven't found the perfect witch hat and I was looking on Etsy and I saw all of these really pretty Victorian witch hats, but they were all black. None of them came in pink. So I'm gonna see if I can find a seller that will make it in pink. If not, girl, we might have to construct some stuff ourselves. Um, but I did wanna go to Spirit Halloween because there's one in Burbank, not far from my house. And I just wanted to check there and see if maybe they had an alternative costume if I can't find my witch hat. I don't know girl but yeah we need to find a halloween costume you guys let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing for halloween this year if you're doing anything are you staying in are you going out are you trick-or-treating are you partying parades what are you doing because i need some plans girl and i need some ideas now normally i would go to like the parade in downtown or west hollywood and just hit up all the bars down there with my friends but i haven't done that in like years and they're all married with kids so i gotta find some other plans but yeah dolls, that's pretty much it. As you can see, my mood has changed tremendously. So I'm gonna talk to you guys when I come back. I am back from Burlington. I'm just trying to find a place to show you guys what I got because I didn't get too much stuff. I went to Ross in Burlington and it's getting dark so fast now. At Ross, I got it. Sorry if it's dark in here, but at Ross I got this um, popcorn because I love this popcorn. It reminds me actually of Chicago, my hometown, so and I'm on my period, so I need something salty and sweet. And then I have been looking for a new compact mirror, and I found this pink and rose gold one, so I got that. And then I only got two things at Burlington. I got these two pink trees. I got a tall one. And then a smaller size one and the big one didn't have a sticker on it but the smaller one did and I told the girl at the restaurant I'm like it didn't have a sticker on it and she was like I'm just gonna charge you the same price as the smaller one so I was like she's like is that okay I was like uh yeah but yeah guys this is all I got I wish I could show you guys this better in the light because in the dark it looks like a dark orange but it's really like a really pretty pink anyways guys I think I'm gonna see you probably tomorrow because I'm not feeling good again and I need to take more medication. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. J'aime sentir la musique. Je peux sentir le jazz, ça, ça me fait quelque chose. Et la musique classique la, la musique classique c'est pour la tête un peu et le jazz c'est pour le cœur. Hi dolls! Oh. Popping in really quick. I am gonna show my face, but just not at the moment because I'm still getting ready. I just have some of my Christmas decor that I recently shopped. Hopefully you guys already saw. Yeah, you saw that because I posted it yesterday. But yeah, I just set out some of my really pretty a pink decor that you guys already saw I was just taking a picture for my Instagram and TikTok stories and reel I will be doing a haul of this stuff on my TikTok as well they'll probably be 
part one and a part two they'll probably be split up in multiple parts depending on how fast i can do the haul because there's a lot of stuff like this isn't even a quarter of the stuff that i got but you guys know that you already saw it but yeah so i just want to show you guys that and i don't know i wanted to say hi <laughs> look at the camera yeah yesterday we did not get a chance to go look for a halloween costume so or do our coffee bar i did go to the store i did not find anything for the coffee bar so that's a bummer but um we're gonna try again today but yeah i am obsessed with all of the christmas decor i low-key want to put it out right now but i can't pinky babe pinky wants to get in the closet that's all she cares about wanted to show you guys really quick the wig so i did take out that pink wig it's coming out on camera a little bit orange because my windows are open and you guys know the sunlight turns my room orange but it is a really a pretty pink let me see if i could get closer maybe you guys can see a little bit it is a really pretty pink and i was so worried that this wig would not come the way i expected i was so worried it would come like a hot pink color which is not what i wanted i definitely wanted like a light pastel -y pink and i feel like this is like the perfect color i'm excited to try it out i'm also scared because i feel like i don't know i'll see different hairstyles and stuff on other people and i'll think it's cute and then i'll try it and i'll just look so like not cute so um i'm kind of nervous to try her out but i'm just gonna go ahead and pop her on and I'll come back to you guys once I'm wearing her. If she's cute, I'll probably wear her in a video. I'm not gonna say what video though, <laughs> but I'll wear her in a video. Um, so yeah, let me try her on real quick and I'll come back to you guys. Are you guys ready to see me? I just put my wig on and I'm so nervous to show you guys. <gasps> Should we go to the mirror? You said you want the dresser. So what do you guys think? Comment below, comment below and let me know what you guys think. Hold on, let me see if I can fix the lighting so you guys can see a little bit better because I feel like it's super orange. Uh, that actually made it worse. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. Okay, there you go. Let me know you guys, let me know. Is this a vibe? Did I just catch a vibe? I don't hate it. Part of me feels a little bit like I look a little bit borderline bozo, the clown. And I think it's just because I'm still getting used to the color of the hair. But the other part of me is like, yes, but I love it, baby. Like, ah! let me know, you guys. I can't, I'm living for the color. It's like I love it. I just don't know if I love it on me. Obviously, I still have to, like, do some styling to it and do something to it to make it look a little bit more fuller and just cuter. I think I like it. I actually think I like it. The only thing that I feel like I kind of am not unsure about is like the bangs being pink. I'm just not used to that. But I like it. It's like pink without being too much pink. You guys, it's kind of cute. Now, I did get a pink wig. Well, I didn't get it. I found a pink wig that is ombre like this, but it's like body wave. So I want to try that one out too, because I'm not sure what I want to do to my hair in the future. I mean, like my real hair and stuff. So I'm just trying out wigs for now, but she's cute. And don't mind me, you guys. I'm gross today. Um, I know we were supposed to go um, shopping, but let me go in here so you guys can see a little bit better. Is that better? Mm, meh, meh, not really. Okay, here's better. Oh, you know what? I think you, I feel like you can see the hair a little bit better in the kitchen. Yeah, I feel like you can definitely see the color a lot better in here. This is definitely more the natural color. It's like a very light peachy baby pink. Not too much. I kind of like this. I don't know, you guys. Obviously, I don't know if I would be comfortable like wearing it out of the house. Um, definitely not like to the grocery store or anything like that. But I'd probably wear it like to a party or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to get used to myself. Anyways, um, yeah, we're supposed to go 
get stuff to do the coffee bar and stuff like that but unfortunately YouTube wants to be mean to me and not allow my video to post so I kind of just have been here trying to get my video to go up um it is my huge holiday haul so that i was just telling you guys about earlier and sending you guys over there to watch it when hopefully it's up by now i don't know what's wrong with youtube i've been having like the worst luck with youtube anytime i try to upload it has not been like one upload that has gone through like seamlessly since i got back like it has just been so difficult but anyways i don't want to complain i just want to show you guys my hair um, here's what the back is looking like. Actually, let me go sh set you guys down in the room again because I think my dresser is high enough to show you guys the back even though I look like a giant Oompa Okay, here's what the back looks like. Okay. Girl. Girl. I kind of, I'm kind of living for her. Like I am. I think she's cute. I kind of like it. I can't wait to try the body wave one because I'm definitely more I feel like my face um looks better with like straight hair and body wave hair I don't know why that is I think it's just because my face is so skinny that when I wear my hair natural and big it makes my face look really small it just looks awkward but uh I can get used to this honey um anyways you guys I'm gonna vlog tomorrow because of this whole situation with YouTube and me not being able to get my video up I just don't know if I'll be able to go to the store tonight and do like shopping and I definitely won't be able to do the coffee bar today girl no that was my plan but she's not gonna happen um and here I am again pushing things off but it's just the real reality I have to get a video up today and I don't have time to go to the store and get coffee bar stuff so we'll definitely do that tomorrow and I'll try and do some more fun vlogging stuff with you guys because this vlog has just been a hot mess y'all normally I'd be showing y'all everything this vlog I couldn't even I, I'm sorry I love y'all though and I'm gonna see you tomorrow which is Monday the start of a new week thank god um oh by the way I wanted to update you guys on my audition so I was up literally last night until like 2 o'clock in the morning trying to get the video to um, to send the video to the casting director. And I'm not going to go into a rant about it, but pretty much the directions that they gave me to shoot the video in when I went to go upload it, um, it wasn't the same. Like I couldn't upload it the way they shot it, the way that I shot it. So it was a long story. To make a long story short, I decided... I was just gonna send it the way it was instead of trying to freak out and redo the audition tape all together because that was my only other option. So I just kind of sent it the way that it was. I hope they received it okay and I hope everything is good and you guys pray for me, do your voodoo, do your witchcraft, whatever you have to do. Put prayers up for me that I book this because I definitely need a lead booking. like. I need something so um yeah that was it want to update you on that but yes disco ball baby girl i like her and she's a bouncy and fluffy and you know what else it's a synthetic wig but it's not like shiny like a lot of synthetic wigs it looks like my natural hair which i love um anyways i love you guys i'll talk to you tomorrow oh and don't forget to let me know what you think about this wig girl should i should, what do you think do you think this is a look? Did you think this, did you think, Ugh. let me know. Bye. damage has been done <laughs> it has been done you guys i cannot go into marshall's home goods or tj maxx and just get one thing and walk out i cannot do it so this is the outcome 
let me set you guys down so we can chit chat a little bit. It's very, it's giving, it's giving orange. <laughs> it's giving orange. Um, oh, hey girl, hey. Um, right now I'm looking for something to set you guys on so I can show you guys what I got from Marshall's. It's right here, good. I could set you guys on the coffee mug. Hopefully it does not fall. Oh, right here is good. Okay, so let me grab this stuff, but good morning. Well, good afternoon. Right now it's like 1240. Today is Monday and I'm popping in to finish out the vlog. I know this was supposed to be a weekend in my life, but this weekend I had so many things happen that obviously y'all know me, I'm all over the place and I don't plan out my vlogs. I just did not have time to do what I wanted to do. And you guys know this vlog was supposed to be focused on building that coffee bar, my Spookalicious Halloween slash fall kitchen coffee bar decor. That was what the weekend was supposed to kind of consist of. But as you guys can tell the last few days, I have not been able to finish the coffee bar and the reason is is because I did not find everything I was looking for if you guys follow me on Instagram you would have saw this morning that I went to Marshall's to finally just get the last few pieces that I needed and you guys I did not find what I was looking for the thing that's holding up me starting the decor okay so let me just talk about my process for decorating I am someone who likes to get ideas first I use Pinterest and I also just use my own mind and construct ideas and then I go down the list of things I have and then the list of things I need to get to accomplish and work out my ideas. The problem is I don't like to start working on a project until I have everything that I need so sometimes that kind of holds me back and that's what happened in this case. The main attraction in my kitchen is my coffee bar or my hot cocoa bar. I want to make a spooky hot cocoa corner coffee bar. Well, it's really tea, really. Um, and I needed a tiered tray. Now, I have been looking for a tiered tray since last year, October. You guys, if you remember, you've been rocking with me for a while, then you know that I was looking for a tiered tray for fall. I didn't find one, and then I was looking for Christmas and I didn't find one, and now, we're looking for it again and I just can't find one. It's not that I can't find one, it's that, that none of the ones that I like are in the store. Yeah, like I have an idea for exactly what it is I want and, and I don't wanna settle on something just so I could have this tiered tray. Like I'm like, no, if I'm gonna spend my coin, I might as well spend it on exactly what I want because otherwise I'm just gonna end up getting rid of that this one the one that I settle for and getting the one that I want later on which is just more money spent I should just focus on finding what I want anyways I said all that to say I didn't find the cheer tray today but if you follow me on Instagram you did see I went to Marshall's and I did get a few things so I'm gonna show you guys I don't know if I'll show you all of it but I'm definitely gonna show you some of it um, I did get some Christmas stuff and I'm debating on if I want to show you guys that in this video or if I want to save it for like a sit down Christmas haul because we're going to be having more of those pink miss haul videos and let me know if the comments below if you guys saw my last video and let me know if you liked it did you like it girl was, you, was it too early to break out the pink miss stuff should I have waited or did you guys like it let me know oh let me do a quick OOTD too by the way since I look even horrible than I looked yesterday. Let me just show it to you. I'm wearing these sweatpants that are tie-dye. They're actually old. I got these when I was in Chicago. I used to dance in these all the time. And they were just a plain black pair of sweatpants from Walmart. I actually tie-dyed them when I got out here. And yeah, just repurposed them. I like them, I think they're kind of dope. And then I have this Sherpa crop. You guys see me wear this all the time. This is my favorite like fuzzy top to wear when it's chilly out then underneath I have like a white tank top I think I got this from forever 21 and it just has like these ruffles on it really cute just peeking up peeking up <laughs> yo I am crazy um then I have my bucket hat that's pretty much the vibe oh and then I wore my tan moccasins so is it moccasins 
I don't know what they're called, but my little tan sandals that I always wear, I wore those and socks. Okay, so basically what I decided to do was just to go ahead and start decorating the kitchen anyways because I really don't want to go into the rest of this week with like stuff just sitting on the countertops. Like I really want to put things in their place and just clean up a little bit. And once I find my perfect tear tray and I put my coffee bar together, I will definitely show you guys that. Maybe it'll be in another vlog. Maybe it'll be on Instagram or TikTok, but I'll definitely show it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. Let me show you guys what I picked up from Marshalls real quick and then we're just gonna go right into the kitchen and I'm just gonna hop into decorating. Um, and then we'll probably do like a time-lapse thingy. And then I'm gonna get to editing. Edit, 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 edit. Why can I not talk? I'm gonna get to editing this video for you guys because it does go up today, Monday. So yeah, let me grab my stuff and stop rambling, show you guys what I got, and then we're gonna hop straight into the decorating and then I will go ahead and close out the vlog and I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay, I don't need to do that right now. What am I doing? First things first, I'm the illy. Make the whole world Philly. And I've been holding down. You should want to bet like this. Drop a low just like this. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Yesterday, I was like all sad and mushy and just my hormones were all over the place. And I still feel like they're all over the place because one minute, I'm like, hey. And the next minute, I'm like, I hate my life. So my hormones are all over the place, but yeah. Okay, first of all, I went to Target because I wanted to get some brownies because y'all already know your girl is on her pee. So I needed the chocolate fix, so I went to go get brownies and I saw these cookie brownies. And you guys, I love cookie brownies. If you have not tried cookie brownies, you have to. It's like the mix between a chocolate chip cookie and a brownie. Um, and I'm going to be doing like a spooky Halloween night video. You guys will see that. I want to get some brownies because I want to watch some spooky movies, eat some brownies, and I drink some like tea. And then that would be really fun, like a spooky, a girly, spooky, relaxing, unwinding Halloween night. I don't know. I don't know, girl. I'm putting it together. Y'all will see it probably Wednesday. Y'all, I found two more pink pumpkins. Y'all probably like, Zuri, you don't need any more pink pumpkins. I know, but I actually do. I, I keep saying I don't, but when I, my office isn't done, you guys. I know I share with you guys my office tour, and I think I said this in that video that my office is actually not done. Like, the shelves above my desk have no, like, Halloween anything on them, and I was supposed to get, like, Halloween candles from this company but I haven't gotten them yet. But anyways, the office is not done. I'm still decorating it and I'll show you guys the updates, but also the kitchen, like I need stuff for the kitchen. But I saw these two pink pumpkins and I said, if I don't get these right now, I'm gonna regret it. So I got them, they were only $12 each or $12.99, so $13 each. So I got those two. So I'm gonna put those aside because we're gonna actually use those to decorate today. And then the other thing that I picked up is this candle by Autumn Hill. I've never seen this brand before, but it was super cute. They had a little mint green one as well. It was $8. And this is this like white candle, but it has like a sweater material, like knit, knitted material around it. I don't know how to explain it, but you guys can see it. And I thought that this would look cute in the kitchen next to like, you know some another big pumpkin or even in the office next to like a big pumpkin that would look really cute then, oh you guys oh my god don't hate me and do not come this just don't come for me in the comments okay i do need y'all helps i need you to help me stop buying mugs please stop me because i can't i saw this and i just had to get it it is a white cauldron i've just never seen all the cauldrons i've seen have been black I've never seen another a cauldron a different color and I wish that this was pink but it's white and it says good witch on it like how cute is that and I thought that this would be so cute if I put like a pink pumpkin on this oh my gosh and this was $4.99 only yes good witch yes and of course you guys know that I'm trying to get like more pieces for my kitchen so I thought that this would be perfect in a kitchen with like a pink pumpkin on top of it so I got that for the kitchen that is just so oh! it can also work in the office too but I already have like a witchy mug in the office so I don't know that I want to use that I have to decide 
if I want to keep the because I have a mug that says hello pretties hello my pretties in the office you guys have seen that mug like a million times I've even posted a picture of it today on Instagram but um, I'm thinking about switching it out for that white cauldron and then putting that in the kitchen I don't know I'll experiment and show you guys what we do today I'm literally only gonna spend an hour doing this kitchen because I have to start editing at two in order to have the video up by the time that I want it up. Okay, I mean, I guess I can show you guys what I got for like Christmas or whatever. I just don't know if I wanna show you guys that in this vlog because I feel like this is a fall vlog. Okay, you guys, I'm so sorry about that. I've actually decided just now that I'm not gonna show you guys the Christmas stuff in this video. Only because this video is supposed to be heavily focused on fall activities. So I'm not gonna show you guys the Christmas stuff that I picked up. I will do that in like a separate sit down Christmas haul so that the people who are interested in that can just go watch that video versus for to get on people who just want to see a fall vlog because that's what this is it's a girly fall vlog so i'm gonna save that for later and also like i said you can always follow me on um tiktok and instagram where i will be posting daily the things that i got and just updating you guys there on a daily basis so if you want to see it now now i would say go check my instagram reels or my TikTok because I'm gonna do a haul of it right now for Instagram and TikTok so you guys can see what I got. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll still do the sit down video as well once I get more stuff. I'll save this for my next shopping trip and then I'll. What are you doing? My cat is licking out of the mug. Girl, get your tongue out of there. She likes that mug. Let's go ahead into the kitchen and get decorating.
dolls. Okay, so I have to do this really quick because my battery is dying, but I'm finally done with the kitchen. Well, not completely done, as I said, just this is just the start, okay, you guys? This will probably change and I will update you guys in future videos. But to start, I have this vase with flowers. You guys saw this in my last vlog already. And I just added this pink pumpkin and then this extra orange pumpkin next to it. I think it looks so cute. I'm going for a traditional fall look with pops of pink. But he's not in town, so he hasn't said anything about it, he hasn't seen it. So hopefully he doesn't have a problem with it. Moving over here, this is subsequently where I want my um, tiered tray to be in this like corner right here. But as you guys know, I did not find my tiered tray, so I am making do with what I have. I had this pink cupcake or cake stand and so I just added some of the pieces that I plan on putting on top of my tear tray over here and I think it looks really cute don't mind the sirens in the background we live like I told you guys in case you're new here we live right across the street from the police station so that's what you guys are hearing but I think it looks really cute I just put some of the pieces that I'm going to put on my tear tray on the cake stand and I thought it was just super super cute next to that I added my little pretty napkins I love this one it says just a bunch of hocus pocus and then there's another set behind it says hocus Percus with a little cat I love it and then a little bitty um, ombre tree you guys saw me haul this from Target already and I just left this little space open because I want to be able to get to my um, teapot very easily and the cord and all that jazz I just hate that but I'm gonna end up pinning or taping down the cord at some point but I just left this clear so I could move the coffee pot around because I generally move it for it like this when I make my tea I said coffee pot I meant tea I generally pull it forward so it never is really back here until I'm like cleaning the kitchen then it stays kind of back there I am burning my beautiful pumpkin cupcake candle. I love this candle. This is one of my favorite fall candles. My absolute favorite is leaves, which I would be burning, but I'm trying to save it because <laughs> I've already burnt quite a bit of it. Um, so then just moving over, I have my sugar and coffee canisters. And on top of that, I have my pumpkin canister that I just filled with, you guys saw me fill this with some um, fall flavored teas. And I don't know that it's going to stay stacked like this. I just did it like this because I thought it looked cute. It kind of, to me, was giving stacked pumpkin vibes. I don't know. I just thought it looked cute next to everything else. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't know if I'll keep it like that, but I don't know. I think it looks cute. You guys can comment below and let me know what you think. I might change that out though, just for the simple fact of I have to get to the sugar. Well, I guess I'm going to get the tea first, so I don't know. Moving right along to my like little cutting board here. I have my coasters here as well. I just stuck this little gold pumpkin that I got. Uh, I think last year or maybe the year before that from the Target dollar spot. It's so cute. Um, it's just a little gold pumpkin and it just matched very well with the boo sign in the background. It has gold pumpkins on it so I thought that was perfect. I added another little pink pumpkin above the boo sign. Just trying to coordinate everything. I thought it looked really, really pretty. And then I also added this sensational white pumpkin candle. I don't know that this is for sure going to stay here because I don't think I'm going to light that candle. And I do feel like it's a little cluttered, especially for the simple fact of I want to be able to use a toaster easily. So yeah, actually might just move that. This might actually go away. Anyways, <laughs> moving over. You guys see how I am? I just, I keep changing things up until I feel right about it. Moving over here, I have this apothecary jar that I had last year for Christmas. And I just added some pumpkin pine cones, some little mini orange pumpkins, and some pink pumpkins. And then I added this really pretty bow to um, match the garland over the sink, which I will show you guys in just a moment here. And then I added some pretty pumpkins that match the rest of the pumpkins and themes in the kitchen. I don't know, I just thought it looked really pretty 
Again, I'm not sure if all of this stuff will stay like this, but I'll just give you guys a quick overview of what she's looking like. Okay dolls, so now above the window I added this garland. By the way, I got this leaf garland from the Dollar Tree last year. There was like three of them that I just tied together. And then I got this other garland I think from either TJ Maxx, Home Goods, or Marshalls. It's just like a knitted pumpkin garland as you guys can see. And I tied it on the leaves. And then you guys saw me create these really pretty bows with this ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby at the end of it and I think it came out really really cute again traditional fall in the kitchen with pops of pink the only thing that's like Halloween themed in here you guys is really just the coffee or the tea bar area but I added these towels the two latte towels I got last year and then this woo towel you guys saw me haul I think it's just really pretty and I love the aesthetic I'm not sure that I'm gonna keep the boo towels here for long i probably after halloween i'm gonna take all of the ghosts and goblins and like spooky stuff down i'm just gonna leave up the latte fall towels um but they're so cute i actually love them there it's a little dark in the kitchen sorry about that now you have this ugly yellow light um but yeah this is bunny's coffee bar i actually ended up taking the leaves down that i showed you guys because bunny is more of a functional minimalist when it comes to like decor like if it doesn't do anything he doesn't want it around like he'll be like what does this do <laughs> what does any of this do like it has to be functional for him so i feel like the leaves are just a little too much for his coffee bar corner so i did take those down and i did bring my little two squirrels over that i always bring out every year um and then we just have this sign you guys saw this last time it says pumpkin spice latte and then a little pumpkin candle and then I added my black cauldron mug over here this might not stay and I feel like this is probably the only thing bunny will probably be like oh uh, yeah you need to move that <laughs> um, because it is kind of close to the coffee pot and he likes to bring the coffee pot out to the middle and you know make his coffee over there so that might get in the way for him so that's fine because I actually got this to go on my tiered tray, but as you guys know, I have not found the tiered tray yet, so I just thought it looked cute over here as well. I also like the idea of it saying witch's brew, coffee brew, you know, it's just like really cute. And then I added this pumpkin that I got from the Dollar Tree like years ago. So yeah dolls, that is Bunny's little coffee corner, if you will. Then you guys, I did bring out my pumpkin soap from Bath & Body Works. I'm so excited. I have been waiting to use this. I love it because it has the matte black um, little, not lid, but dispenser. And I still have my pumpkin, or not my pumpkin, my strawberry pound cake soap out i actually didn't use it all up but i was just so excited to put out the fall stuff that i ended up taking it down and putting this up instead and i actually love the aesthetic of this don't mind the dirty dishes but i love the aesthetic of this and the fragrance notes are carved pumpkin spooky cinnamon and moonlight vanilla moonlight vanilla why can i not talk um it definitely does not smell like the description at all i don't like the scent of it but I do like the aesthetic, you guys. It is just so cozy in here. That was my vlog for today. I hope you dolls enjoyed this cozy fall vlog. I hope you got inspired to do some decor. I love you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye, booze.